So hey everyone, good to see you again this week. To follow up from a video that I would have done a few weeks ago about my grandmother giving me licks, my mom and her licks was a whole different ball game. The disciplinary tactics with this one was amazing. She was a little more serious. I mean, your grandparents are the ones that are supposed to spoil you. But my mom, oh, the wrath of my mother. She's the one that would beat you, not my father. My father would not. He'd just terribly embarrass you in public. But my mom, behave in public. Don't embarrass her stupid, stupid in public. The public for her was anywhere outside of the four walls of your house. You could be by family, outside where people can see you. So you did something really stupid there and of course you're gonna get licks. In public, she wouldn't beat you, you know. In public, she'll give you the look. And I swear to God, you'd pee yourself with the look. Just the look alone. You, you could be like holding your toy in your hand or you could be doing something and she just give you that look and you, you drop everything. I, I would be like, drop everything and you suddenly you stand up like, I'm not doing anything. I'm not doing anything wrong. No need to get licks when we go home. But you'd be so scared. You, you didn't even know what you was going to look for, but you stop everything you was doing. That was one. There was a time I was at the, at the restaurant and it was a couple of family members and we were at the restaurant. It was a big thing that we went out to this restaurant for this occasion. And I don't know what I was doing. I don't know if I was swinging my feet or I was shaking the table. I don't know what I was doing, but I was doing something stupid and she pinched me on my leg very very quietly under the table you know and as she pinched me I was like ow what you pinch me for everybody kind of looked at her like and she was embarrassed because now I oust her on her you know pinching practices well boy you know when you go home your girl for even speaking up about the discipline <gasps> when I got home she remembered the exact feeling of how she felt then and she cut my tail but you know what? You never do anything wrong again. I think this generation needs some licks, you know. And next thing is if you go to someone's house, so if you go, even if it's family, family or friends or anyone, if you go to their house, you have to one, sit quiet. There's no getting up to like go walk around or the, you just, you sit quietly like you're an adult having this adult conversation with them. And when they ask you, they would politely ask you, hi, would you like something to drink? Your response, your polite response was supposed to be, no, thank you. Whether you was dying or thirsty, you was hungry, you was hot, you was anything. Because that's being a good kid. That's what they said was being disciplined. I don't know why, I just assumed that that's how you're supposed to behave. And my mother was happy, so whatever kept her happy, you just continue to do it. The licks that I would remember was the licks that was the most fun. Oh my god. My brother and I would always do something wrong. My brother got a rope and was trying to lower me from the gallery down to the floor. And my mother caught us midway. <laughs> And we started to run and she was waiting to cut our tail and we we're running right around the house. We just kept running away from her and then she stopped. She's like, hold up, wait, why am I running? Two of y'all, pass here, like right here where I'm standing, pass here. I don't care if there's a door there. If you go outside, I will catch you when you come back to sleep. Pass here, collect your legs, go your way. I don't know who taught her that lovely little thing or how she came up with this past hair. But after that, we had to march to our licks. So my brother would push me and I would push my brother and he'd push me, no, you go first. And I'd be like, no one, we're both scared. Mind you, it was like a whole pushing game for who would, you know, get licks. My brother would go first and he would get his licks and I would laugh at him. <laughs> but then when I got my licks, I was stupidly crying now. And then he would say, ha ha ha. <laughs> and then mommy cut his tail again. <laughs> it was the best thing ever though. But yeah, that was my lick story. My mom is a serious lady. I tell you, up till now, if I say something out of timing, she'll still have no qualms and slapping me upside the head. But you know, I am a better person for it. I don't think the licks killed any of us. I don't think the licks is going to kill this generation who's gone whack. So yeah, don't forget to like and share. And please be sure to subscribe to my channel. Thank you guys. Bye.